Let's look at some of the options we have in setup. We're going to get to our setup screen using our setup button. Settings are divided into two main sections, which can be accessed with soft keys one and two. The show settings have to do with the current show file and any other consoles on your network. Desk settings stay with the hardware and are specific to this console. We'll start off in show settings. There are a lot of settings in here that we're going to skip over for now. There are several advanced settings that can be found in other videos or by referencing your manual. But let's take a look at some of the ones that apply to what we've looked at so far. Number of channels refers to the max number of channels that your desk can output. This is set by your console, either 500 or 250, depending on which model you have. This number can be reduced to make paging simpler. For example, if you only have 100 channels, you can change this to 100 and not have to page your channel display up above that. Q settings, this is our default Q times. You'll notice the defaults for everything is five, but you can change these times to whatever you like. Show control is for triggering or receiving triggers from external devices. Please see our show control user guide for more information. Partitions are used in multi-console environments. See your manual for more information. Moving over to desk settings, record defaults. Auto playback refers to when you record a queue, the console will automatically place you into that queue. This is enabled by default. Tracking mode. This defaults to tracking, but can be changed to queue only. If you're in queue only mode, the console will default to queue only as we discussed in our tracking video. The queue only button in this mode will now serve as a track button. Let's switch that back to tracking mode. Record and delete confirmations are enabled by default. Record confirmation refers to when you are overwriting an existing target. And delete confirmation has to do with when you're deleting something. The update defaults can also be changed here. In manual control, we have our manual times. These times refer to the timing used when you enter anything on the command line. They default to zero. So for example, channel one full enter comes on instantly. You can change those times if so desired. In the manual control section in the center, this is where we set our level. Earlier on, we used the at at command from live. This is where that level is determined from. Our plus percentage and minus percentage are the numbers used when we use shift plus and shift minus to change levels of channels. Our default times over on the right are where we change our default times for sneak, back time, and go to queue. On our face panel keypad settings, we can enable or disable our blackout button and our grandmaster. The spacebar go, enable or disable, refers to when we have an external keyboard plugged in and whether or not the spacebar will act as a go button. Under the displays tab, the display fader ribbon and display help prompts can be enabled or disabled. If we don't want to see our fader ribbon, we can turn it off. And if we don't want the help prompts above our command line, we can turn those off. PDF file settings have to do with when you are printing things to PDF, which is found in your browser. Brightness settings refer to your desk lamp plugged into the back of the console. Those are our settings.